Hey there, Captain Giddies. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this video, I'll be discussing my thoughts on episode 10 of the anime series, Log Horizon 2. And I have to say that I was yet again left thoroughly impressed and awed by the character introspection to match, if not have gone beyond that which we've seen on display previously, where it pertains to both Shiro and Akatsuki, respectively. This time, it being William Massachusetts that was the focus of such revelation his plight coming much in the form of a pep talk to those of his guild that are beginning to feel that this raid they've been attempting is altogether a pointless charade when the collective must face not one, but three overly powerful bosses at once, which is what had done them all in as we'd seen previously. William offers us a look into the psychology of a lonely gamer, a point very easily relatable to anyone who has ever considered themselves to be a geek or nerd or otaku. What's more is the courage he shows in spite of himself that ghostly incarnation of his own visage that hangs over him almost as both a conscience and a challenger. It constantly contradicts and questions repeatedly what it is that he's actually thinking and saying about his own life and what with he found to be of value. He admits fully and without remorse that his life outside of the game was cut off from others, that his only true means of meeting people and making friends were through the MMORPG Elder Tale, as turns out to be the case in all probability for the majority of those former players now inhabiting this dimension, realm, or world built off of that game's framework. He too adamantly suggests that because of the gratification, elation, and friendships brought forth through this mutual experience, he will never let himself or any other be heard to degrade it, as it means so much not only to he himself, but William also notes his own capability of sensing and appreciating how important the experience has been for others as well, especially those around him, those of his guild. What I found to be particularly interesting was the dichotomy presented by William himself at the point where he is challenged by the yet adversarial Demikas, and William points to his own having run away from a challenge previously, though somewhat surprisingly is it the walking out on Shiro back at the start of the series, when Shiro had been seeking the formation of the round table. Herein we see William's own dichotomy, his issuing of words meant to inspire those around him to hunker down and try again, not run away. Yet too, that he himself had run away from an opportunity he later regretted not having taken up, as much a lesson learned in the end as there ever could be. By the end, his words of encouragement truly hit home for all parties involved, invoking, as they did, William's own idolation of the debauchery tea party, Shiro's former guild, and the importance with which he considered Shiro's request to be involved in this particular raid. We too see, as Shiro himself awakens out of his respawning, that William's words have affected him as well. Only do we find that he is yet questioning his own capability of primping up and supporting those closely set around him, Minori, Toya, and Akasuki, as well as William's own words. Which plays again on his own determination to reveal finally the truth of this raid and his plans to those that truly matter to him. And the wait to make another attempt on said raid is on, at least until the next episode. And so, yeah. Yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you thought of episode 10 of Blog Horizon 2 if you've seen it. Were you as well impressed as I was with William Massachusetts' revelations and personal history as we're on display in this particular episode? Thanks very much for watching, and I hope this video finds you well. <laughs> Catch you all later. Peace.